Hey, Wonder Hussy here. Oi, you will never believe what I'm doing this time. I'm about to climb aboard an RV with five other models and one photographer and spend a week traveling around the hinterlands of Nevada, stopping for photo shoots at every ghost town, hot spring, and abandoned brothel between Las Vegas and Reno. That's right. Seven days, six models, one RV. I've worked with this photographer and a few of the other models before, so safety's not really a concern. But my sanity is! I think by the end of the week, we're all gonna wanna kill each other. Either that or maybe we'll become best friends! Let's see what happens. I'm on my way to meet up with the rest of the gang now. We just rolled into the Walmart and we're about to meet up with all the other models. And this is the RV we are all going to be living in for the next week. The plan is, tonight we're heading up to Carson City, which is just outside Reno. And then we're going to shoot in that area for a couple days and then slowly make our way back down south to Vegas. Now, we haven't even left Vegas yet. We're already five hours behind schedule because everybody had to come to Walmart to get snacks and drinks and things they might need on the long seven and a half hour drive up north to Carson City. So, with any luck, they'll get everything they need, and we'll be on the road sometime before dark. Okay, so everyone finally got everything they needed from Walmart, and we came back out here into the blazing, baking Vegas sun to load everything into the RV. I mean, there are bags and bags and bags of wardrobe and shoes and makeup, and somehow all of that has to fit into this trailer. Now, I actually got the photographer to agree to allow me to bring my car separately because I didn't want to have to sleep in that friggin' trailer with six other people jammed cheek to jowl like sardines. Especially because we're going to be spending all day every day together. I figured it'd be nice to have a little bit of alone time in my car at the end of each night. Well, it's almost dark and we barely made it to Beatty. <laughs> That's what happens when you're traveling with a big group of people. You know, one person's gotta stop to pee, one person forgot something at their house. That was me. I forgot one of my walkie-talkies. I brought walkie-talkies so we could communicate back and forth. Come in, Wonder Hussy. What's your 20? You know, that kind of thing. It's a lot of fun. Oh, all right, we finally made it to Tonopah. It's already 9 p.m., but we're starving, and we're going to go to the cafe here to get some food. But first, a lot of these models haven't been to Tonopah before, and they haven't seen the wonders of the Tonopah station. While we were at the Tonopah station, I was recognized by one of my YouTube fans, so I felt like a big wheel in front of the other girls. But that didn't last very long. <laughs> I look and feel like H-E double hockey sticks this morning. We didn't get into Carson City until 4 a.m. Oh my god, we, just one thing after another. We left late, we stopped to eat. You know how it is when you have a lot of people, it's like herding cats. So it's about 11 a.m. now on day two, and the plan is to get somehow ready to take photos and go to Lake Tahoe. <laughs> I got like a ride from LA. Oh, all right. I kind of sort of managed to put myself together in a manner of speaking. And now we went out to get, well, by the time we all got ready, it was 2 o'clock. So it's not even brunch, it's lunch before we head out to Lake Tahoe. But I thought you might want to meet some of the other models I'm traveling with. This is the most beautiful and lovely Miss Jill Voss. I've shot with her many times in the past. I uh, know her pretty well. In fact, I shared a bed with her last night. This is the beautiful Christy Jessica, a.k.a. Pure Rebel. I've been wanting to shoot with her for a long time, but this is the first time we've ever worked together. Yeah! I don't know what to say. I'm just excited. You flew in from Brazil for this, didn't well, you? I went to Seattle for two days, but I was in Brazil for two weeks. 
She's a jet setter. Next we have Miss Amanda Puggle. First time working with her, but I noticed when I looked you up on Facebook, we have 18 mutual friends. I think I got this job from you by uh, Widget sharing it on his Facebook because Widget's a really good friend of mine. Oh, awesome. Widget's the guy in charge of the LA Burning Man community. Oh, cool. He's a great guy. Well, I'm glad to be working with you. Miss Chelsea here. I've shot with her before and she's wonderful. What's your deal, Chelsea? Well, I flew in from San Diego. Ooh, sunny for San Diego. This wild adventure. Is that how you got that beautiful beach tan living in San Diego? It's from a bottle. Uh, just like your hair. That's true. Uh, <laughs> Finally, we have Miss Crystal Allen from, you're from Austin? I'm from Boston. I moved to Austin. She only lived in places that rhyme, you guys. Where will you be moving next? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. think there's anywhere else that rhymes with that. But it's very nice to meet you, and we're all having a good time, right? Absolutely. And why are we all here? It's because we're with this guy. You must be a masochist because you're the one who thought it would be a good idea to hire six women and travel around in an RV for a week. <laughs> the devil made me do it. The devil made you do it. Now, you're a photographer, and what's your photography name? Amod Photo. Amod Photo, and you can find you on Facebook, Model Mayhem, all over the place. You can find him lurking around uh, high school I parking lots. No? 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 <laughs> Just kidding. He's a very upstanding man. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here with him. Right, girls? Yay. We love Paul. He's wonderful. Anyway, so far, none of us want to kill each other. It's only day two, though. We still have five more days to go. So. Six, isn't it? We have more than enough. Oh, well, we haven't finished today, so it would be over quick. We're not really good at math. We're models. <laughs> All right, we finally made it to the lake. We're gonna jump off the dock into the water. Just kidding, we're gonna do some photos. All right, it's already the morning of day three. We haven't shot a single nude photo yet, and we can't leave the Tahoe area until we do. So we're gonna try and find this nude beach where we can take some nudies without anyone complaining. And then we can finally start making our way back down south into the desert. Today we conquer Rome. From here, we take a team of elephants over the Alps. Okay, everybody with me? Okay, we're... Are we taking actual elephants or pack of elephants? Uh, we're in negotiations. <laughs> Chelsea. All right, we're here at a nude beach on Lake Tahoe called Secret Cove. It's absolutely beautiful, but we're all naked. I gotta be really careful about what I show. Whoopsie. Can't show nudity on YouTube, but it's a beautiful beach. Check this out. You can do it, Joe. Come on. You're almost there. He already left. you put in the shopping cart? Yeah. Vino. Uh oh, Chelsea. Chelsea. You what? I eat sausage all the time. How do you eat it? Okay, you guys, it's the end of day three. We finally left the Lake Tahoe area. We stayed there much longer than we planned on, but we finally started heading south towards Las Vegas, and it got dark, and we had to stop for the night and find a place to camp. 
So tonight, we are camping at a creepy, old, abandoned drive-in movie theater. Whoa, look at this old screen. We're just parked here in the sagebrush. Here's the trailer where five of the models are gonna sleep with the photographer. Uh, wait a minute, that didn't sound right. <laughs> anyway, they're trying to get their generator sorted out right now, but I'm sleeping in my trusty 4Runner. I brought my car along because I wanted some peace and quiet at the end of the day. Anyway, while they're getting situated, I thought I might snoop around and check out this old abandoned drive-in. Look, those are the posts where they used to have the speakers mounted. But this looks like it might have been the old snack shack or something. I figure I might as well peek my nose in there before I go to bed. I can't say no to a creepy old abandoned drive-in movie theater snack shack right before bed. <laughs> All joking aside though, this is kind of the perfect setup for a horror movie, right? Six models, one photographer, and an abandoned drive-in movie theater. Ah! I'm only gonna do a quickie explore because I'm really tired. It was a long day and I wanna go to sleep, but holy cow, I wanna guess this was the snack shack, but I don't know. First church of the last laugh. Yikes! Guys, okay, listen, I don't wanna gross anybody out who's squeamish, but I think there's a calcified, petrified turd in this toilet. And I'm gonna show you in three, two, one. What? Stop it! Oh, now look. Two, what does it say, two dimes, two dimes. It's so spooky doing these explorations at night. Looks like this was some kind of old commercial kitchen. Oh wow, look at this old phone booth. Let's see if we can check in here. Oh wow, look, Carson Valley area. Look, all these old phone numbers. Peggy's Country Kitchen, Pemberton Tim Law Office. Oh look, Blair J. Pence. Dale and Tracy Pendery. It's really a sign of the times that reading a phone book is funny. It's a classic you'll read time and time again. Well, if you're a weirdo like me, you will. Anyways, let's just do a quick look around and then I gotta go to bed. So this was some kind of old stove or dishwashing station or something, I don't know. It's like a meat grinder. All the better to grind up six models with ha ha ha. This was like some kind of huge deep freeze. Guess this is where they kept all the ice cream treats for the drive-in. Any dead bodies? Oh wow, it does look like blood, but I think it might just be some gross old spilled food. But I'm not sure because look, there's a dead rat stuck in it and a dead snake. Oh my god, you guys, gross. Okay, wow, that was pretty interesting, but we'll check it out a little bit more in the morning. What are we doing over here? Oh, we're doing art. You're so creative, Amanda. Look what she does. She got this piece of trash off the ground and put a light in it, and she's making this psychedelic kind of light show on her phone. Hey girls, what do you think about camping at this creepy abandoned drive-in? Oh, what happened? The water's not working? No. So you can't wash your face or brush your teeth? True. I did, I did manage to brush my teeth, but oh. I'm all dusty. Oh, you sure are. Let me see your feet. Oh, gross. Yuck. You, you definitely need a bath. No water. What are you girls going to do? Oh, I see what you're doing. Washing yourself with baby wipes. How did I know you were... Listen, doing... listen here, troublemaker. <laughs> hey, I'm not the one who uh, broke your water pump and your generator. You're who I'm blaming. Uh... <laughs> Good morning, Jill. <laughs> did you survive your night sleeping at the creepy abandoned drive-in? Nobody snored too loud. Oh, it's not too crowded in there? Nope, but apparently you have to be smarter than the door to open it. Oh, uh, are you smarter than the door? <laughs> I don't know, I haven't tried to open it yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good morning, ladies. Looks like it's time for another glamorous day of modeling. This is uh, as glamorous as it gets, shaving, dry shaving your legs at an abandoned drive-in theater. Did you ever think you would come to this point in your life? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, Christy is the most dedicated model I've ever met. We're camping in the desert and she got up, made a smoothie, put curlers in her hair, now she's doing yoga, jump roping. She is all about fitness. Look at Jill cutting onions without worrying about crying. <laughs> what, what's this mask all about? This is 
is our friend Amanda Puggles design. Wow. And it's just like ski goggles or? Yeah, ski goggles and you slide them oh, in different, nice. different apparatuses. So they're good for like Burning Man or, or for chopping onions. Chop onions. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Amanda Puggle here makes these amazing masks like Jill was just wearing. Those are the swamp creature. It's kind of like this, uh, the sound of water. Reminds me of a, a what's his name with all the fucking pins on his head? Pinhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and like if people are interested in buying these masks, oh, yeah, they're for sale, right? They're for sale over on my Etsy account or my Facebook page for the average platypus. Yeah. <laughs> the average platypus. The average platypus. I just learned that Puggle is a baby platypus, and that's her modeling name, Amanda Puggle. <laughs> okay, it's. Day four, we're in Yarrington, Nevada. We camped at that abandoned drive-in last night and it's not good, you guys. The water pump in the RV is broken. That's why there was no running water last night. No one was able to use the toilet. No one was able to take a shower. So we came into Yarrington to find a replacement water pump for the RV. And while we're in Yarrington, I figured since I have this cold, I've been sick all week and it's really, making things kind of a drag for me. I'll just go into town to a pharmacy and get some antibiotics. A friend of mine is a doctor and he called in a prescription for me. So while they're over at Ace Hardware getting the RV repaired, I went to this pharmacy and one of the other girls came with me because she had to go to the bathroom and there was obviously no bathroom in the RV. Anyways, I went to this pharmacy. She went to go find a bathroom at the casino across the street or someplace and she disappeared. I can't find her anywhere now. I was in the pharmacy for 30 minutes. There's no way it took her longer than that to go to the bathroom. So now I have to scour downtown Yarrington trying to find this girl because her phone doesn't work. This is Amanda Puggle we're talking about and she's, uh, she's special. There you are, where were you? Oh, in the casino. Penny's lost. Oh. I did that in because I knew I was, good. I was late. I was like, oh shit, that bitch is gonna hate me. <laughs> she's like, it's a small town, they'll find me. <laughs> no, we did. All right, so we found Amanda. We're all loaded up and ready to go. We just have to wait for Paul to fix that water pump. We came here to this little Ace Hardware to buy the part that he needed, and he's working on fixing it right now. Well, we never did get that water pump fixed, but we decided to just keep rolling down south anyways, and now here we are at beautiful Walker Lake. The biggest, most beautiful lake in Nevada that no one's ever heard of. And there's a good reason why. Unexploded munitions, yikes. I don't think we're gonna be doing any frolicking in the surf photos here. <laughs> Bathing beauties. Okay, we finished our shoot at Walker Lake and we continued driving south. And it got dark before we really got to where we were planning to camp for the night. So we made it to Tonopah because the water pump in the RV is broken. We're just gonna get a room and we stopped to get a bite here at the fantastic Mizpah Hotel. This place is amazing, check this out. This is a really beautiful old turn of the century hotel. It's been amazingly restored and it's supposedly haunted by the ghost of a, I think a prostitute. I stayed here once last year and I made a video, you can check that out. But we're probably not gonna stay here today because it's kinda, but we did come into the cafe here to have dinner. Oh, look at you, Christy, looking pert and professional as always. Fresh as a daisy. Jill having a nice hot cup of tea. Long day, huh Jill? She just wants to be in her cozy sweater. Paul still standing. Crystal still standing. Oh, and then we've got two ladies having glasses of Lady in Red wine, which is the house wine here. That's right, the Lady in Red wine is named after the ghost that supposedly haunts the top floor here. I think it was the ghost of a, a prostitute. That's fitting for this show. <laughs> well, somebody did ask us the other day if that was Dennis Hoff. 
Oh gosh. So by lover you mean customer? Where is Amanda? I think she went to back. Let's take yeah, one now and one now she gets here. back. Okay. All right, day five has begun. We survived another night in Tonopah, and we stopped off back here at the Tonopah station again for breakfast. This is where we had dinner a couple of nights ago, you might remember. We're getting ready to go shoot photos at an abandoned airplane hangar, but there's just one thing holding us back. Oh, we're waiting for Amanda. What? Amanda? Imagine that. Where is she? Oh, she's in the casino gambling. Oh, did you find her? <laughs> wow, this old abandoned airplane hair looks pretty cool. I'm definitely going to have to come back here and make a video about this place. All these windows. This awesome pattern of shade falling through the ceiling. That is so cool. Jill's getting creative. Oh, yeah? Watch this. location for day five is this awesome abandoned warm spring swimming pool. This ought to be really nice. Who wants to take a dip? What happened? I got scared because I saw another bug. A big bug? Oh wow that is a giant friggin bug for sure. That's a hornet dude. That's a hornet? Look at it. That thing would really hurt. That doesn't have a stinger though. Because wouldn't you see it hanging off the end of its little Tail there, but at a singer. Dude, look at it. That's a. I mean, I'm not saying I want to cuddle with it, but. <laughs> ah! Oh, shit! <laughs> you save him, Jill. Jill, you want, do you love animals? You want to save that bug? Well, then jump in and save it. All right, last stop of day five is Goldfield, Nevada, where there's all kinds of weird stuff to shoot, like these London underground subway entrances. <laughs> and this old Model T fire truck that Miss Jill is shaking her Dallas Cowboy cheerleader boots yeah. on. Last shoot of the day, girls, and then we get to have dinner. Yeah. Whee! Where are you going, Jill? To the station? Jill, I think that train left the station a long time ago. Ah, <laughs> uh, listen to you, Paul. You've already gone plenty of places with us. It's too late for you. <laughs> yeah, we're not shooting professional photos. If anyone asks, what are we? Oh, uh, Paul. And whoa, what a cult leader. Too hot to handle. That's us, too hot to handle. <laughs> Get in, girls. Love it. Oh, look at her pose. Chrissy, you're a natural. She knows the right pose for every occasion. Looks like a bunch of snooty cowgirls. Everyone's making right? these snooty expressions like. Our shit don't stink. <laughs> Except for Chelsea, her shit stinks real bad. <laughs> Just kidding, Chelsea. <laughs> I 
Uh oh, now what's going on? These have moonshine cherries. Oh, oh yeah, that one. That's yours, Joe. This is pineapple. This is green circle. Oh, I definitely want a green circle. Take the tray. Take the tray with you. Well, look what just happened. We just got a free tray of Jello shots from this random guy driving down the highway in a golf cart, passing out Jello shots. Ice cream truck, but even better. Suck it up. Yay, we love you. Thank you. Hey, what I gotta get into. Oh, yay. When's the last time somebody randomly gave you a jello shot running down the street? Today! <laughs> Uh-oh, who's this? This is Lee. Oh, Lee is the caretaker at the Burner Resource Center. Oh, yay, Lee. And That's so artist, nice. A scholar yes. and a gentleman. <laughs> she apparently doesn't know me very well. Make <laughs> <laughs> no party like a street corner party in Goldfield. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey. Hey. Yay! Hey Chelsea? Yes, I was looking beautiful with the camera, being sexy all the time. It's rough, isn't it? Does it hurt your back and your shoulders when you have to be sexy? Oh, I don't know. It's rough. That's okay. Amanda's got your back. Literally. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> One of our last breakfasts together. How do you feel? It's day six. Super excited. Yeah, oh, are you excited? I am excited. But now wait a minute. We're, we're shooting at the sand dunes today, but tomorrow we're going out on Lake Mead. How do you feel about that? Sand the water. Mm, there better be alcohol. Oh, <laughs> good thing we got those jello shots on that guy in Goldfield. Mimosas. Huh? I'm hoping for mimosas. Well, you can just keep on hoping. Aww. <laughs> what about you, Jill? How do you feel about the trip? Mermaid. Oh, Jill's mermaid. excited about the lake, but are you excited about the sand dunes? Uh, yeah, I am. I, uh, I can't wait to run on them. <laughs> Are you excited about your breakfast? The breakfast was to die for us, gluten free. Oh, good. I'm glad you got a good meal because we got a long day ahead of us. Oh, imagine that. Dollar store run. Everyone's got to grab a few things, right? That's right. Because you're flying to Thailand right after this. You don't have, it's not like you're able to go home in between. No. You're the hardest working model I know oh. out of everyone on this trip. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. And what about you? Oh, look at Chelsea. Oh what are God, you trying to get? <laughs> Little buy titty? or no buy? What do you think, Three everybody? Phones, you guys. I say yes. That's a yes. If it was one dollar, it'd be a no-brainer. But three dollars? It's a dollar. Don't get paid a lot. It's a dollar fifty per ear. Let's see how they go with your shorts. Oh, oh, they match real well. Yeah, I'd say get them. Okay. Oh, we made it to the sand dunes. But it's like a hundred degrees out here. It's too friggin' hot to shoot. We set up the RV and we're just kind of taking a break in the shade, figuring out what we want to do next. Lubing up. Gotta stay lube. Before the sand dunes. I want that nice. sand to be nice and sticky. Mm. What's that, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's camera shot. Crystal, you're from Boston originally. You're definitely not used to this hot weather. How is it treating you? Well, it's like a big fuck you from the weather. <laughs> and it's dry. You're not used to how dry it is, right? No, I'm used to massive humidity. So how's that? Like, how's your body handling the dryness? Not well. And you're so fair. You can see, like, your face is flushed. It is hot. We need to get out of this desert. Oh, Chelsea, are you okay? She got dehydrated. She got a heat stroke. What about you, Crystal? You've always wanted to come here, haven't you? I did. I gotta get some aliens. You gotta get some alien stuff, girl. Oh, I'm sure they'll have some. Look at all this crap. 
all this stuff. You'll find something. Last night of the trip, one more day after this, we're at the Hoover Dam Lodge. Our intent was we were supposed to camp tonight at the sand dunes, but we have a boat rental on Lake Mead tomorrow, bright and early at 7.45 a.m. So we got rooms here at the Hoover Dam Lodge right down by Lake Mead, so we can be right at the marina at 7.45 sharp for our big water day. Last morning of the trip, guys. How do you feel? Oh, sniffly? Oh, no. Look, Chrissy's over there doing crunches. This woman is so dedicated. Every morning she gets up, exercising, making a smoothie. She doesn't eat junk food like the rest of us. Speaking of junk food, have you had good meals on this trip, Chelsea? <laughs> well, define good. Well, what was your best meal of the trip? Denny's. <laughs> oh, no, what's going on here? It's a picnic? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were going on the boat. What happened? Oh no, they wouldn't even let us rent the boat! Oh. Jill's cutting up some bell pepper. Paul's got the grill fired up. We're making burgers! Uh -huh. Nice job, Sarah. I know all of them. I am a connoisseur of meat. Yum yum. Good, Christy? You guys, this is our last photo shoot together of the whole week. So sad. Good in a way. I'm sure, Christy, you're looking forward to this being over. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Thailand. Yeah. Aww. What a nice thing to say. Nobody wants to leave Paul. Is that how you pose, Jill? Nice. Oh, what? Booty bumping? Yay! Group hair flip, everyone! Chelsea, you're gonna have to get that pretty blonde hair wet. Okay.